and welcome back to another brand new video for you today. You might be thinking, things look a little bit different, Molly. What What's going on here? So I have honestly been kind of on a kick lately. Not lately, it's kind of like just a shift in turns with just uh, the whole like quality of uh, footage that I bring to my YouTube channel. Um, I've just been re really wanting better quality lately and I know I haven't been giving that to you guys really usually I'm very cut and dry as you know that with uh, just like videos in general and just like reviewing stuff so I've just been really thinking lately that I really want to try to be better about that and try to like like put my best foot forward with like re you know reviewing things and such Th things will still be the same I'm still gonna do like movie reviews and nothing like that's gonna change but as far as like quality content and uh, just like how it's filmed and everything like that I just want to try something new and I want to try to be better about that and uh, yeah so nothing's gonna change I just wanted to you know I wanted to try something new so that's why things might look a little bit differently it's still I don't have a professional camera I don't have any of that kind of stuff <laughs> so it's not as like professional as I'd like it to be which is fine I mean this is in the beginning stages anyway so it's not like that big of a deal um, and plus the lighting in my room is not the greatest lighting I have two windows in my room one being right in front of me and the other is I have a cool backdrop but it you know the, the window makes everything not so great because of the way it's situated and everything like that but you know what it is what it is and so I got to deal with what I got and this is what I got for you today so yes now getting into the video you might be wondering what is this this totally seems like something you would not do at all well <laughs> as I've said times have changed since I started this channel and it started off I wanted to review like multiple different things and then it kind of just got into just reviewing movies I still love doing that and I still want to continue to do that but I want to offer some other stuff for you guys and if you're a guy you probably won't really get into this but I thought this would be a great start and I thought it would be fun and I know that you know girls can get into these I think I mean I don't know guys probably could too I'm not sure if they would but <laughs> you might be seeing where this is going I mean you already know by the title of this but I wanted to uh, show you guys my summer haul or like stuff that I have found this summer that have been either really good deals or just really really cute uh, for like summer attire um, and so that's pretty much what I'm gonna be doing for you today and I usually don't do things like this I usually I was that kind of person that I would like make fun of these type of videos but <laughs> it's come to bite me in the back as time has gone on because I've been watching these like you know clothing haul videos uh, for like summer attire and I've actually been really really getting into them and I'm like that seems really fun and I usually I don't usually just go out and buy clothes but lately I've just been wanting to expand my wardrobe because <laughs> I need some new things um, and so that's why I was like this would be the perfect I have enough stuff to do it it's not like one item here's my haul uh, no I, I have more than one item <laughs> um, man it's hot I'm sorry, I've been trying to get ready for this video and like walking around in my bedroom has been very humid and uh, it seems it seems really lame, but I am like drenched in sweat right now. I know you can't feel that or see it, but there is sweat going on right now and it's really, really gross. But anyway guys, let's get into the video and I want to show you what I got for this summer. So the first item is, and this is it, I just want to give a disclaimer here, these aren't like don't expect like these really really expensive like you know I went to like Macy's or something like that or you know like one of these like Gucci or <laughs> you know all those or Calvin Klein you know all those things I like Calvin Klein but my pocketbook does not uh, does not fit for that type of price so <laughs> these are gonna be a little bit more local areas in my area I mean they're pretty much everywhere like international places to go to I think or maybe it's just in the United States I'm not sure but um, I mean there's a couple in here um, that are from like local boutiques in my area but that being said I just wanted to give that disclaimer for you guys if you're thinking that these are gonna be like really expensive stores like American Eagle no I never shop at American Eagle because it's too expensive <laughs> 
it's too much for my pocket. So I can't afford that clo those clothing. And personally for me, I'm rambling right now, but personally for me, I'm not gonna buy uh, super expensive clothes unless I really, really like it. And just in general, I won't spend $100 on a pair of jeans. It's just, this is not my thing. Um, anyway, the first item that we have is from Old Navy. And they are jeans. They are, okay, they're unbuttoned, but they are from Old Navy. They're curvy, skinny. Now, one thing I have come to love Old Navy lately because they offer so many different variety of jeans, it can get overwhelming. One thing I wish Old Navy would add would be um, like, different like okay one thing I wish they would add would be like carts so you can like put stuff in there because I find myself every time I go in there that I'm picking up all this stuff and I have it all in my arms and I'm like this is just a lot so Old Navy if you're watching this please add some baskets or something because it would be kind of nice to do that I'm sure there's probably a reason they don't but that's just my two cents with that but these jeans are actually really nice they are a size 8 I believe um, yeah, eight short, because I'm short, I'm only 5'2", and I have been on the hunt for good jeans because the jeans that I've had for a long time, they've been great, but uh, they're starting to wear and tear and they just, they're just not the best fit and they're really baggy on me anymore. Um, I still wear them, but uh, also, it, another reason, it's so hard to find stuff in your size that fits good, that isn't super tight or super small. I'm a more of a mid-size person, so it can be hard to find things that are not, because I'm not plus size and I'm not like skinny. So <laughs> it can be hard to find things in that middle ground and it's really frustrating sometimes. But I found these on their clearance rack. I was going by their clearance rack because always got to check out clearance. And these were only $15. $15 for jeans that fit amazing. Now granted, I've worn them a couple of times and they've gotten a little baggy on me since then because they're a little bit more stretchy material, but they are perfect. I love, I just love jeans. These aren't like a jegging, it's like real denim, uh, which I like that. I personally, if I'm gonna get a jegging, I might as well get leggings because, I mean, I like jeggings, but to me, it's just like, I'm not gonna wear that as like a natural jean because it's, it's I mean, it's not jeans. Um, in my opinion, I'm one of those people that jeggings are not jeans. Um, so yeah, these are great. Uh, got them at Old Navy for $15 and I'm like, this is a good, good bargain and I'm not gonna pass this up because I need new jeans. Um, so anyway, there's that item for you. If you want some good jeans, go to Old Navy. All right, the next item is this gem that I actually found yesterday. Um, I was with my friend Megan and we decided, she'd never been to Burlington before and I was like, we gotta go to Burlington because Burlington, honestly, it, it kind of reminds me of Ross a little bit the way it is, but you can find some really, really good deals and really, really cute stuff in there. Like not just clothes, just like either it's like luggage or shoes or, you know, bedroom stuff. You can find a lot of cute things in there. Rugs, there's so much in there. Um, but it's this jacket. It, oh wow, it looks really orange on my on the video camera, but it's actually mustard yellow. And I found out it's got shoulder pads in it. Now I'm not an 80s person at all, but they have becoming becoming <laughs> they have become more in style lately, and uh, kind of like come back in style. And I really have been liking it. I that's more of my style with clothing. I like more businessy, classy looks. Um, so. Yeah, this was a gem, and I was almost not gonna get it because it was about $18. It was $16, but then plus tax and everything, it rounded out to about $18, which I don't, it, like, that's a really good price. I'm just, I'm a penny pincher, guys. Uh, so <laughs> I, I loved it, but I was like, I don't, I don't wanna spend money. I don't wanna spend money. But, um, but yeah, I know, it's, it's frustrating for people in my life because they're like, it's okay, just spend the money. I'm like, well, I don't wanna spend the money. Um, I'm gonna be one of those people married. I don't know, I might please my husband one day, you know, he might be thankful that I just don't spend money out of the wazoo. I find that a very good trait, but I can let that get in the way. A lot of the times with me just buying something, even if it's just, even if it's important, I just tend not to buy things. Um, but anyway, 
that is this jacket it's really really cute burlington it's a size medium and they had other sizes too um but this was a i just i love this jacket it's super super cute it flows it's got this like little detailing on the arms it really really cute highly recommend and i think they had other colors i think they had like red and black and possibly white i think um so yeah really really good price really good purchase and I'm excited to wear that because I haven't worn it yet so I like I like getting new things okay next thing is this striped shirt another item from Old Navy <laughs> and it's a size large and it's got this uh, detailing on the sleeves right here and it's not necessarily a really summer shirt again I got it on clearance because when I was going and getting the jeans I saw this and I was like this is really cute I'm not really into the whole like like the whole sailory kind of sailory that's not really a word but you know the sailor vibes with all that this is not generally my style but I do like striped shirts like this I prefer vertical stripes but I mean what you gonna do so this was cute and guys this was only two dollars two dollars for a cute shirt like this I have yet to wear it but at first I saw it only in a small and extra small and I was like no please have it in large and sure enough I sifted through and they had a large now they this probably won't help you guys at all if you want like I want this shirt um, they might have it in your local old navy but it, I don't know this was like the last one in mine and it was on clearance so not much hope for you there if you want to find it but it's really really cute it's not as flattering now that I look at it on me um, like you know you just have those days where like stuff looks more flattering on you than others this is kind of like that shirt it's kind of like a mood swing shirt for me but I think it's really really cute and I was like two dollars you can't pass up that and it's really cute and I just like having more shirts to wear without cardigans because uh, I love cardigans but during summertime it's just hard. you can't really wear cardigans very much um, anyway next item is where is it at here it is. I've got like a big load of clothing here. Okay. These really cute pants from Ross. They are super cute. I've been wanting a pair of pants like this for like the longest time. And I just haven't found any that look good or that, you know, are short enough for me because guys, I'm only 5'2". So it can be hard to find long, flowy pants that aren't like 10 feet long on me because it that tends to be the case these are one size fits all which I don't they're pretty stretchy so I could maybe see this fitting up to like a size 14 um, if you like, like that's the size that you are anything else I don't know if it would quite fit that uh, but again everybody's different so it might fit a size 14 fine it might fit a size 10 like really like weird uh, it really just depends on your body and everything and I generally don't pay attention to the size anymore. I'm just like, oh, if it's a size large, okay, I need a size large. If it's a small, I need a small. Like, because women's sizes are so confusing and so ridiculous anymore that it's just like, it's pointless to go shop for this kind of stuff because it's, you know, it's depressing. Because you go into the dressing room and you're like, I have my size and it's not fitting. And then you fit on, like, a size small and it fits great so you're like okay it's really really wonky and all that but these were nine dollars too nine dollars you can't pass up that and you may think I'm like really cheap but I love good deals and these were just on the rack at Ross and I was like I'm getting these these are only nine dollars yes I've been wanting these good purchase all right so the next thing is uh, this gem right here I have been wanting this for a very long time and it, again like with the pants it's so hard to find them some that are good that are short enough I mean I had to alter these myself I had to cut the the, the bottoms but this super cute blue you can't tell it very well but this blue jumpsuit it is so cute oh I love it it's a size oh wow it's actually it's, it's a size 12 no wonder it's a little big on me um, and that's probably why it was longer too. I don't think they had a smaller size. Um, I think I just picked this up. That tends to be how I shop. I see something that I like and I just pick it up. Um, and then I realize <laughs> the size doesn't fit me. Um, but this was just like, I couldn't pass this up. This was just so cute. And I've been wanting a blue, well not a blue jumpsuit. I've just been wanting a jumpsuit for the longest time. 
Granted, I would prefer it have like some kind of sleeve. It's sleeveless, but you know what? I've been I've been working out and I've been trying to get my arms as toned as possible. <laughs> and tan too. It, I don't want to look like, you know, really, really white in these, <laughs> which can get a little embarrassing. But these are really, really cute. They're super flattering and I know if you're not really a jumpsuit kind of person, it can be a little intimidating to wear this kind of stuff because one, it can tend to show everything if it's a different material. And two, it can tend to fit you really, really weird. It might fit up great in the top, but it might feel, fit really weird in the bottom or it might fit great in the bottom or really weird at the top. But this fit me great and I was like, I'm not gonna pass this up. I keep, I forgot the price of this, but I think it was between 15 and $20, something around that. And this was also at Ross, if I didn't mention that already, um, which that's a really good price. Jumpsuits are really hard to come by that are inexpensive. A lot of jumpsuits cost up to 30 and up. So this was a, a bargain to say the least. It was really, really good price. And it's, I don't, I'm not sure what you would call this material. Um, it's like this, and I'm not sure. It's a, it's a different material, but I don't mind it because it fits great, so. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's a great find. Go to Ross, get a jumpsuit, highly recommend. And they tend to sell a lot of jumpsuits anyway. Um, this just happened to be one I really liked. And I like the cobalt blue. But again, kind of businessy attire, which that's totally, totally me. Um, okay, then the next item is Probably, I feel like the best, probably the best find in this whole entire thing is this. It's more, it's more for fall. I wouldn't call this summer, but I got it during summer, so I include it in my summer haul. Um, but this is like a really, really soft, um, is, it, is it suede? Is that the type of material it's called? Um, but it's really cute. It's this jacket and it's like, guys, I wish I had cheats with this kind of material it's so soft and I love it um, and I got this at a little boutique in downtown Overland Park uh, in Kansas City uh, called ensemble I never heard of it before and I was like this looks really cute and usually guys I don't go into boutiques like that because again they can tend to cost pretty pretty good amount for something small so I again it's not that I, I just personally can't afford that kind of stuff for like a pair of sunglasses I can't spend $30 on a pair of sunglasses um that's just that's, I just like to save my money that way um but this I found in their clearance <laughs> again another clearance item but it was so cute it is an extra large but that's the smallest they had was an extra large and I was like I tried it on and it's a really really baggy fit but I'm thinking when fall comes around, I'm gonna put it with a black belt of mine. You can't really tell it really well. But I'm gonna put it with like a black belt and like cinch it in and it's gonna look really, really cute. And I think it was just a really, really, really great find. And only $10, only $10. So yeah, this was, this was a great, great find. I love it and it's really, really good. Um, good quality, good material. Uh, and it's got this like flowy, flowy designs on the side where it's kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, almost like a bell sleeve effect on the sides. But that's a really, really good find. I will have all the links in the description of this video if you want to go check out their websites or, I mean, Ross and Old Navy in Burlington, I mean, those are all local areas. So, I mean, you should be able to find them pretty easily, but I'll, I'll, if I can find these, I'll put them in the description below. Um, and then my last item, where is it? Here it is, uh, is this blue cardigan I got from TJ Maxx. Um, I think it was TJ Maxx. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember these, this stuff. It's not the best quality, but I, it was $13 and it's a size medium. Um, and it's just a really simple cardigan. Even you can wear it during summer if it's like a little breezy out at night. It's just, it's just a really comfy cardigan. You do have to be a little careful because the durability of this is a little fragile um, because it's just, it's a really thin material. So um, yeah, it's, it's a little, it's a little easy to get ripped and stuff. Like I have to be careful when I brush my hair with this on because my brush can tend to go in it and it fray and stuff like that. 
but I I love it and it's really really it's just a, it's a good thing to have on hand if you just want something light and cute and for a good price I yeah I think it was $13 um, or yeah about $13 and I consider that a good price for a cardigan too so it wasn't on clearance it was just just a cardigan <laughs> but yes go to TJ Maxx okay guys so that is my summer haul for you all and uh, that rhymed <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed this video again it might be a little weird to you or a little strange that I'm doing this but I thought it would be really really fun and I like doing new things and especially you know it's hard to find good things that are good prices and that aren't crop tops or tank tops which or really short shorts that is the summer attire for for like summer clothing and I just I don't get into it at all it just does it's not my style so it's really hard for me to find good summer clothing um, that is like loose and airy while still being you know cute and fun a lot of these are more dressier items but I mean t-shirts and shorts are usually what I wear if I want to go play like volleyball or something like that so I don't really need anything nice for that I've always gotten an abundant flow of t-shirts and shorts so we're good with that but anyway guys, let me know what you thought down below. Please like this video and please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.